Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So guys, over the past, well, a little over a year now, uh, we've gone over a lot of things, okay? And for those of you that are just now tuning into my channel, it would be smart on your part and it would actually pay you, I think, to go back and look at some of my older videos. There's a lot of information back there, guys, uh, that would answer a lot of questions for you, I think. But up to, leading up to today's topic, um, we've talked about flagging, we've talked about the use of, of fur and bones and, uh, and PVC pipes and stuffed animals and those kind of things, garbage bags full of leaves and straw. We've talked about all that stuff to use as a visual attractor at a set, but we haven't talked about to make the set itself visually attractive. So that's kind of what I want to touch on today. Now, this is going to, going to be a little short video, I think. Um, but I think there will be a lot of information in here for you. Uh, I think it will be some, some good information that you can use. So let's, uh, let's turn this camera around and let's get started here. All right, guys. So here we have not just one dirt hole dug, but we've got, you know, there's four of them here. What better eye appeal can you get than four dug dirt holes all in one spot. Now granted, you wouldn't, you wouldn't bait and lure any of them except the one that you want to use you know, yourself here, but those others are there just for eye appeal. And I'm telling you guys, it doesn't get any more eye appealing than just to have a bunch of holes dug. There isn't a fox, a coyote, or a bobcat alive that is, you know, if, if everything's right, if you've got it on location and you've got you know the winds in your favor and you've got good quality bait lure urine and everything in there there is not a fox or coyote in the country that's going to walk by four fresh dug holes uh, they're just not going to do it so and there's you know there's no law that says you can only dig one dirt hole at a time uh, no law against it at all so Go ahead and punch in three or four or five or six or whatever you think you might need. The more you dig, the more fresh dug dirt you've got out there, the more attractive it becomes to them. So there's just one example of something that can be done right at the set itself. Something else we can do here is just pile up a bunch of dirt. I just brought a, a five gallon bucket of dirt over here and placed it. Now I would shape this a little bit. I would want it more pointed up here towards where my trap is going to be i don't want to you know try to try to point that thing so that it's it's not any wider than what my trap jaws are that's very important and and that way you also so you don't get a bunch of tracking around on the sides and the edges you keep them more focused in here in the in where you want them but there's nothing wrong with that either that's got a tremendous amount of attraction if we were to back up here you know 30, 40 yards, that thing would stand out and shine like a beacon. Uh, there's, again, not a predator in the world that's going to walk by that and not notice it. It's just something else that you can do that's right there handy at the set itself when maybe you live in a state where you can't use feathers or bones or fur or something. Now, there's no law against using the dirt itself. All right, here we have a very unconventional flat set that you're not used to seeing. Uh, what we've done here, we've took our backing back there and we threw some turned over sod on top of it just for some more eye appeal. And then we dug two trenches off there on the side. Trap would be placed back there about eight or 10 inches from our tractor where it normally would go. And what these act as are stepping guides okay to make that animal square up to come into that you can do this at a, at a dirt hole too there's no law that says you can't do this uh you know you, you see kickbacks you see you see them throw dirt and, and sod and or not sod but dirt and grass and stuff up on something they've urinated on you see that all the time well there, there's no law that says you can't dig a trench somewhere to make him step where you want him to. You don't have to lay sticks. You don't have to place rocks. You don't have to place brush. Just dig a trench and make him step over there where you want him to. There's nothing chiseled in stone that says it has to be done a certain way. You can do, you know, you're only limited by your imagination, guys. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try something new once in a while. 
all right guys i know this was kind of a quick little video but i do believe there was some super good information in there for you and it should get you to start thinking a little bit and get you out of that comfort zone and be experimenting and be trying some new things uh, you know here's the deal these animals evolve all the time and if we don't learn as trappers to evolve with them, we're going to become dinosaurs in a museum, okay? Can't keep doing the same old routine over and over and over all the time and expect different results. It's not going to happen. You have to change things up once in a while. That's what I was trying to show with this video. I hope I, I, hope I got that through. Uh, again, guys, I appreciate everything you've done for this channel. I really do. And I appreciate each and every one of you that tune in to watch and all you new ones too that come in and watch. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, if you haven't yet, if you would please hit that subscribe button for me, hit that thumbs up and hit that notification bell. I really appreciate that too. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.